Here's another tube tester that I was recently given. This is a uh, BNK Model 606. It's very cool. It has the same uh, kind of paint scheme as the larger Model 707, which I always kind of like this blue and silver paint scheme. So I worked on this for a friend a couple of years ago and uh, got it working, replaced the tube that was inside of it, the 6B and 8. And I since tested this and it seems to be okay, so I might use that again. But um, when I worked on this, I you know, got it working. It seemed to work just fine, but I didn't realize there was a calibration procedure that I could do on it. So um, I wound up getting this back from uh, the friend that I worked on, worked on it for. He didn't really need it, so he gave it to me. So I thought I'd do the calibration procedure. And this is from uh, Tube Sound. And it's the uh, BNK 606, 600 606 tube tester. There's a picture of it. So I'll run through this uh, kind of uh, service and calibration procedure on this thing and see if we can get it working even better. Now, I originally thought this was kind of a cheap little uh, emissions tester that wouldn't be worth too much, but as I've noticed, uh, these things seem to be somewhat valuable on eBay, and uh, I think they're desirable because they're really sturdy, well-made, and uh, fairly reliable in certain tests that it can do. It's just an emissions tester, but uh, it uh, does some good uh, testing that... Uh, seems to be uh, worthwhile so let's get it calibrated okay got the uh, tester pulled out of its case and flipped over on its upside down and this is what it looks like there's all the sockets now they're wired so I already used the oxit to uh, clean up all of the uh, switches here and the pots and uh, there's a couple more of the test switches up here that I used. And I did measure all of the uh, resistors or checked them all and they're all within tolerance. Um, I'm going to go ahead and replace these two capacitors. They measure okay right now on ESR anyway. But, uh, well, it's... If you look here, if this will focus... Uh, date code is... 39th week of, or 30, 33rd? Something like that. No, 39th week of 1965. So, this is, you know, well over 50 years old, so I'm thinking these capacitors could use a freshing up. So, I have this one, but uh, I don't have this one here, so I have to place a uh, capacitor order. But I think I can go ahead and uh, calibrate this thing without uh, those put in. So we'll continue on. That's what it's looked so far. Okay, for this is the uh, shorts test calibration. You're supposed to set uh, B in uh, position 6, C in position 5, and then you put a 1 mega ohm resistor here on the octal. I've just got a base here. Um, holding that uh, resistor in, and that's between pins uh, 5 and 8. So, there's the 1 mega ohm resistor, it's in there, and then what you do is there's a little... I'll show you on the back here. This is powered on, so I want to be a little careful. Well, I've got it plugged into the isolation transformer. See, it's powered up. There's a little pot right here that you adjust until you just barely turn on the short light. So let me turn this over here and see if I can capture that here. So I'm going to reach back here and adjust that pot. Let me zoom in on the short light. See if I can capture that just lighting up as I tweak this uh, resistor. There it is, way back here. Kind of hard to get to. So there it's on. There it's off. So you turn it. It's going in the directions. You crank that till it just starts to illuminate. Just 
right about there. Okay, it's just starting to glow. I know I can barely see that, so it's probably hard to see on the on the video, but that's what you do. So that's the uh, first calibration. All right, the next uh, test or calibration we do is uh, the grid leakage uh, calibration. You're supposed to hook a 20 mega ohm resistor between a couple pins here, pins five and eight. And I had to make a 20 meg by stringing a bunch of resistors together. But then you hit the grid emission test and adjust this pot right here, which is uh, I think it's R3, until the meter reads 20, because that's you got 20 meg ohms in there. I guess that's what it's supposed to do. So let's crank this a little bit. Okay, there we go. So now I'm reading 20 when I uh, get the grid emission test. So that's the second calibration. And I think there's only really two that you can do. Um, there's one last test uh, for quality, which is just a uh, just measuring a resistance to see if it's in a certain range. So I'll do that next. Alright, the final test, and it's not really a calibration just a check and that's to uh, unplug uh, the meter and check between pins 5 and 8 on the octal socket with the uh, you know, B on 6 and C on 5 like before and then you hit the quality button and you look for a reading a resistance between those pins at between 5 and 600 ohms and this is reading uh, 564, so it's in the acceptable range. So that's it. That's the uh, calibration of this little uh, Model 606 tester. So uh, that's just a tube with it. See if it works. All right, I got this uh, 6B and 8 that was originally in this tester hooked up, and there's a little booklet that comes with the tester that has all the settings so I got this set up properly. So the first thing you do is uh, check for grid emission. You should see no deflection on the, the meter. Then you go ahead and rotate C and you'll see a little a short slide will momentarily light but shouldn't stay on unless it says in the directions that it should stay on. So you see it flashing but it doesn't stay on. I hit the quality and you can see it's reading about right on the edge of the question mark and good. It's sort of moving into the good now. So it does look like this tube's maybe low on emissions but still functioning. So I'll save it and use it for something else maybe, but I'm going to go ahead and leave that other tube in there. So the uh, Dynajet uh, Model 606 is uh, fully calibrated and tested and seems to be working fine. So I'll go ahead and start using this tester and the great thing I like about it is it does have a compactron socket and I think it has a Noval socket here too somewhere in one of these so you can test some of the newer tubes that some of my older tube testers can't test. So great little addition.